Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have a little look at the Smile Kit aligners that have been delivered. If you saw my previous video where I did the moulds and I sent them off, then this is the next step. So I've actually got my teeth straightening kit that I can have a little look at with you today. This is also an ad for Smile Kit because they have gifted me the item. It's not a paid for video, but this has been gifted. I started filming a little vlog this morning to tell you all about why I haven't been on YouTube for so long. I promise you there have been valid reasons why I haven't. So um, that will have been up before this video. But let's have a look into the kit and I will tell you what we have got inside. So when you open the box, you will have your information here. I've got a nice little note. I've then got an invisible aligners guide here, which I will take you through slowly. Um, I filmed this up close for you to see because it does tell you interesting facts about sort of washing your hands before you handle them to make sure that every time you eat, you take them out, you clean your teeth and floss before you pop them back in. You do need to wear them as well for 22 hours out of the 24. And this I think is very important. This tells you then about the final step, which is to purchase the retainers, which is something that I wish I had done when I was a teenager. I had a lot of work done on my teeth to straighten them because my mouth was too small for the correct amount of teeth. So I had teeth removed, teeth straightened, which I know I've spoken to about in a separate video. And I didn't wear my retainer, which is probably why they have moved now. And also I've had my wisdom teeth come through, so they've probably pushed some things as well. So I definitely will be getting the retainers. And then there is this here, which I don't think everybody gets, but you get if you've got overcrowding. So this is, there's a little tool in the pack where it asks you to place the tool in between your teeth, just so that the teeth have got room to move. Um, but they've marked out the teeth that they would like me to do that on once a week, just to allow for um, better movement. And then the exciting part, which is inside the box. Now I've already taken one of these out, there were two. And uh, this is, there's one in my bag and then this one is staying in the house so that if I'm out and about and we're eating, I can pop them in there and then go to the bathroom to clean them before I pop them back in. So they are a nice colour as well, may I say, my favourite colour. <laughs> um, we've then got underneath that, this is the teeth whitening kit, which includes a pen, which has got a twist up dial on the bottom and you apply the gel to your teeth, not to your gums. And then the light that's inside, you actually plug into the bottom of your phone. There's a few different adapters for the bottom to fit different phones and that powers the light then for the treatment. And then we have got probably the most exciting part are all of my lower aligners at the bottom and there's five months treatment here and all of my upper aligners at the top and that is six months treatment and I change onto the next one every two weeks. And then there are a few tools right at the very back here. So the first one we have is that tiny tool that we talked about for going in between your teeth. A sticker, because why not? <laughs> um, we've got then this tool here, which has tiny little nodules on the top, which could be handy for removing your aligners, because when you first pop them in, they can be quite tight. I wore them for the first time yesterday afternoon and last night, and because obviously they're trying to move my teeth into a certain position, they were quite tight. So you definitely need to use something um, there to remove them with. And the final two little green tubs here have got some kind of like putty, I suppose it is, um, which if there are any areas that feel uncomfortable on your aligners, you can pop a tiny piece of this on top. And I think for me, there's a piece right here um, that I will pop a tiny bit of that gel onto to make that more comfortable for myself. And I'm going to give you a close up of my teeth as they are, because somebody did send me a message on Instagram asking if they could see close ups of my teeth because they were really interested in what was going to happen. Going from my right side on my upper teeth, my tooth goes in slightly and then I've got one that's sort of 
pulled back. My next front tooth is forwards and then the tooth next to that then is twisted. It's sort of minor work they're pulling that into place and then on my lowers then you can see that they're all quite a little bit out of shape there and with a twisted tooth on my left as well. And what's great about getting the package like this is that you can see your first aligners and what they look like and the final aligners and what they look like and you're just going to see how straight your teeth are going to look. Somebody did mention on the last video that I did that they probably wouldn't trust this kind of treatment. They are actually from dentists so it is all proved. So the dentists obviously are medical experts, they know exactly what they're doing and even if you get to this point and you've decided that you didn't want to pursue it, then you don't have to. Nobody's going to force you to do that. But for me, seeing the start and the end, where it's going to end up is amazing. Before this package arrived, I had to approve the treatment plan, which was fantastic to see. So they sent me through my treatment plan with some videos showing exactly where my teeth would move into and if I was happy with it, if I was, then I just had to let them know and they would continue with the process of making them. If I wasn't, then we would discuss further um, and we would adjust from there. One thing I will say about them as well is that anytime I've had a question, um, I've gone through as if I am a normal customer as well. I've gone through the process of going onto the website, popping the retainers into the cart and purchasing them. The only difference that I've had is I've put in a code at the end and I've gone through the same channels that you would as if you were going to be doing this process at home. So anytime I've had a question or a query, I've emailed across through the correct channels and they've responded literally within a couple of hours. They have been amazing and so quick and so friendly may I say as well. So you can see that my aligners close up are really close to my teeth so I suppose that's what happens if you do a really good mold. It took me a few tries, if you've seen the other video you know that it took me a few tries. Producing that good mold has really made the aligner almost unnoticeable to my teeth. It doesn't cover the whole of the top of my teeth because I've got quite big front teeth <laughs> but that's not a problem at all because I know that the aligners are clear anyway. If you do have any questions um, I only know up until this process at the moment so I can answer up until this process but if you do have any questions please let me know in the comments I'll try my very best to answer you or direct you to certain places perhaps on the Sparkit website. I hope this has been helpful I know it's not something that everybody will want to do but it's also very interesting if you are looking at this kind of process but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!